Well, if you or someone you know works at a casino, you are being asked to stay vigilant to avoid falling victim to a local scam. Thank you for joining us on Channel 13 Live at 6. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Joe Moeller. The Nevada Gaming and Control Board is issuing a warning about scammers targeting casino cage employees. The largest scheme getting away with over a million dollars. I went to one resort today to see how they are addressing the concern. I'm just getting ready to get started. Our casinos attract millions of people to Las Vegas every year. Every hotel has a casino in it, almost every of them, every one of them. Those casinos are also attracting some unwanted crime. The Nevada Gaming Control Board is issuing a warning about scammers targeting casino cage employees. The board says thieves are posing as casino executives and directing employees to withdraw cash from a casino cage. The statement reads in part, quote, Subjects gain intelligence on high-level casino owners, employees, managers, and others connected to the casino's money operations. The fraudsters then contact CAGE employees using a variety of scenarios to manipulate personnel based on a fear of negative consequences for casino employees and or operations. One recent incident happened at Circa in downtown Las Vegas. Owner Derek Stevens tweeting a statement saying they are cooperating with the investigation. The board says the suspects at one point getting away with $1.17 million. It's really part of the heartbeat. There's so many things that are going on. I went to the Westgate Resort right off the strip. Vice President of Public Relations Gordon Prudy says they are staying vigilant. Last Thursday morning at our operations meeting where our whole management team gets together, the security team talked about what was going on. That was before the, uh, the uh, advisory came out. The Gaming Control Board also recommends resorts educate employees. Prudy says communication is key within the casino floor operations. They said cage and floor employees were made aware. In this case in particular, uh, you know, we're always very careful with kind of a chain of command before anything like that is, is, is taken care of. He says the resort community shares information about incidents that do occur to stop it from happening again and to keep employees and customers safe. Really, that's a big part of what we want to provide to our customers, a Vegas, Vegas experience and a great time, but also keeping them safe while they're here. If you or anyone you may know has information on these crimes, you are asked to contact police.